Hi everybody, I just wanted to give you a quick video to show you how to log in to your Surrey Schools account. I'm going to show you two ways to get to Office 365. Uh, the first way is by going obviously to www.surreyschools.ca as you can see up here where my mouse is hovering here and you'll see the splash page which is our first page for the whole Surrey Schools account. Uh, on the right side you're going to click sign in and as you can see my login information is already saved which I strongly recommend you do if you're working on your own personal device uh, if you it'll give you a little message after you put your password in and your login information and you will it will ask you if you'd like to save the password I think you should save the password especially if you're working on your own device this will help make it so much easier for you you don't have to worry about logging in every time Everything saved into one spot. So in the first bar, you, what you'll do is you'll put your username. In this case, my is Gardner underscore D. You can write at surreyschools.ca or you can, uh, when I first got this email address, it was sd36.bc.ca. So that's what my computer remembers. And then in the second bar here, you're going to want to click your, uh, your password. And when you're ready, click sign in. And this is about where you get that message about um, uh, saving your password if you'd like to save it, if it's your first time. If you already have it in your computer, everything should work just fine. And you'll know that it works because all of a sudden you'll see your, your picture, and that could be last year's individual class photo, um, or in the top right corner here. So I see my name up here. Now I know that I am logged into uh, my Surrey Schools account. From here, I can uh, access my email, and if I click here, I can get to my Office 365 page. Uh, again, this is my own computer, so I'm going to actually say, don't show me that again. And uh, again, if you want to just be re reduce the amount of times that you're asked to log in, uh, you can click yes or no. I suggest if you're using a public computer or a shared computer in your family, then maybe don't click, click no. Um, but if it's your own device, click yes. And once it lo once it does its loading thing, you'll see your Office 365 menu right along here. So along the left side, you'll see all of your apps. And the one that we're going to be focused on first is Teams. That's going to be right there. Um, but this is all your, your notes and your drive information, all your documents that you've ever created that, through Surrey Schools. Okay. Now the second way is if you want to, if you'd prefer, you can actually just go directly to office.com and again, you'll see because my computer's already saved all this information that all you have that it'll remember me. So in this case it says I'm already it remembers me from last time it says gardener underscore d at schools.ca. So I can switch the account. Um, if I'm somebody else, I can forget it or if I'm ready, I can sign in. And boom, you get the exact same page that you get over here. I can actually click between the two and it's the same page. So if you log in through Surrey Schools, it just basically takes you to office.com just as a logged in person. And to make sure, again, look for your icon at the top here. It could be initials, it could be your class photo from last year. Uh, in my case, I have a Bitmoji as my thing and you'll see the same stuff. And that's how you're gonna access Teams. So right here, we got Teams starting up, and once you click there, uh, it might give you a prompt to download the app. If you're on, uh, I again suggest that you get the app. Um, in my case, I already have the app, so I'm just going to show you here, and I'm going to have the web app. And then you'll see your teams listed around here. So the team that you're going to be looking for is the one called the 756. That's our class team, okay? And once you click on that, you'll be in. That's all I wanted to tell you today, folks. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Bye now.